the James Webb Space Telescope was able to find the first black hole to observe what has been formed in the world. This is a historical record, especially since this black hole is not a normal black hole at all. A black hole that was created after 470 million years since the formation of the universe. The mass of this black hole is 40 million times that of the Sun and 10 times that of the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. It seems that this discovery was one of the most important events in astronomy and solved one of the astronomical problems. Stay with us until the end of the video. Do you understand what it was? This discovery seems to have solved one of the greatest mysteries of astronomy. Scientists had a hard time figuring out where the first black holes in the universe came from. It is a very massive black hole that was formed at the beginning of the universe, which was still an infant universe itself. In this part of Space Facts, we understand this great discovery, what important information does it give us, and what great influence does it have on astronomy. From the very beginning, when astronomers studied the universe, did they not know how heavy black holes were formed? For this model of black holes, two different scenarios were proposed. The first was that these black holes were probably formed from the collapse and death of the first stars. But this theory had a timing problem. According to astronomical models, the first stars were formed approximately 150 million years after the Big Bang. These early stars were very heavy due to the conditions of the early universe, and it took about 50 million years for them to grow and evolve. They would reach the final stage of their lives until they explode. Proto-mass stars were formed approximately 200 million years after the Big Bang. But these stars took several billion years to gather material from the surrounding environment and become heavy and then collapse, and mass black holes arise. So, according to the astronomers' view and knowledge, such a massive black hole should have formed after a few billion years, not a few hundred million years. The important question then was how such a heavy black hole was formed immediately after the birth of the big stars themselves. Is it? Could a primordial massive star have broken the rules and exploded and created a black hole? Or not? Massive primordial black holes were due to the collapse of smaller stars that merged to form a massive black hole. Because of what it is called the Eddington Limit. And it is impossible for black holes to have originated from large early stars. Let's see what this Eddington Limit means. When an object compresses everything in itself due to strong gravity, the material of that star that has collapsed and made a black hole goes to the core and center of the black hole. But due to the conservation of angular momentum, the materials that are pulled into the black hole, they do not gather in the center and create a disk around it. This disk, which is like an ellipse, converts the gravitational potential energy into heat and thermal radiation is emitted from it. Eddington Limit says that the external pressure and internal tension must be balanced. If a black hole is to increase its mass in a short period of time, that means the internal pressure has increased. So the luminosity around the black hole must stop, that is, it should pass the Eddington Limit. Such a thing is impossible, so there must be a second possibility here. The possibility that tells us how heavy black holes were formed? Scientists speculate that these black holes were not the result of the collapse of stars. Rather, a large gas cloud may have directly turned into a black hole. These gas clouds that were at the beginning of the universe, they are very big. It allows them to turn into very heavy black holes in a very short period of time. But until now, scientists had a big problem that they did not have evidence of this phenomenon of turning a gas cloud into a black hole. This is where the data James Webb helped and the big discovery happened. When he had James Webb looking at Abel's cluster 2744, about 3.5 billion light years away, a phenomenon called 
gravitational lensing occurred. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing, the thing that is behind this cluster, and due to gravity, its light bends in the background of this cluster, it is seen bigger, and this cluster magnifies it like a lens. Now James Webb was looking here and behind the field, could see a galaxy with a black hole in its center, clearly visible. Scientists weren't sure, what are they looking at? Because this black hole was not supposed to be that heavy. They went back to watch this phenomenon again and examined 11 other galaxies magnified by gravitational lensing. They were able to find a light source that was enhanced by the cluster Abel 2744. This radiation source belonged to the galaxy UHZ-1 and there was a big black hole in it that could be seen now. Of course, the black hole itself could not be seen. It could only be observed by the radiation beam. After analyzing these rays and radiations, they realized that there is a strange and huge black hole there, whose mass is between 10 and 100 million times the mass of the Sun. But the strange points of this black hole were still there. Every galaxy has a star mass. That is, the total number of stars in that galaxy all form a mass called the stellar mass of the galaxy. Usually black holes at the center of galaxies, their mass is less than the stellar mass of the galaxy itself. For example, inside the Milky Way galaxy, we have a very heavy black hole whose mass is one-tenth of one percent of the mass of all the stars in the galaxy. The strange thing about this big black hole that was discovered was that its mass was equal to the stellar mass of the galaxy. This is where scientists said to themselves, how can such a black hole be formed? Because it is breaking our rules. This issue is mentioned in an article published by scientists, which has many explanations. We don't want to talk about the details of this article because the video will be very heavy and difficult. We want to tell you the result very simply. Scientists conducted two experiments to see how this black hole was formed. In the experiments, they found that the black holes that they were made of stars, they cannot have much mass in the early universe. Especially in the first 500 million years of the universe, such black holes are not created at all. So the only thing left was the possibility that the gas clouds exploded in themselves and created massive endo-black holes. Scientists tested this too. A model, the simulation was made to show the clouds gases can increase their mass without breaking the Eddington limit and create black holes. The results of the experiments showed that there can be rare and very rare galaxies that have grown a black hole in themselves in such a way that the stellar mass of their galaxy is the same as the mass of the black hole. Of course, as we said, they are very rare, but they could have been created in the first 500 million years of the universe. These black holes are called out size black hole galaxy. These black holes can only be detected through telescopes such as James Webb and Hubble, which use the gravitational lensing method and see distant objects. At the end of this discovery, it was found that the central black hole of UHZ, one was formed about 470 million years after the Big Bang, and it is the first black hole of its kind that we were able to discover. It is not the death of a star. This is also from James Webb's next wonder that scientists investigated. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Best wishes. See you later.